all you beginning steelhead fishermen out there, this one's for you. I'm gonna show you how to properly bait up a hook with a chunk of row. Sounds easy, but there's a little trick to it. Okay, you're gonna start with an octopus hook, and you need an egg loop for this procedure. And you can learn how to tie that egg loop on another video on this website. All right, then we're gonna use a piece of simulated row for this exercise. Of course, you'll use the real stuff when you're fishing. You're gonna impale that row, try to keep it centered on that hook, slide it all the way around the bend up the shank to close to the eye there. You're gonna take that loop, and this is where that loop earns its name, and cinch it around the eggs. And that basically acts as a harness to keep those eggs on there. You don't wanna pull it too tight because you'll cut right through the bait. So just cinch it down enough so it'll stay. Now, that bait, just like that, is gonna drag on the bottom. So you need to add some sort of flotation. One thing we do, is that a puff pawl? It's a little styrofoam ball. This one's called a fish pill. Impale it on the hook, slide it up right behind the bait, and that also kind of helps keep the bait on there. That'll give your bait some buoyancy and a little splash of color. Now the downside of the fish pill is you have to take it off to rebait every time. Now, the old school method, which still works just fine today, you can run a corky on the leader. Now these are hard plastic over styrofoam and we've been using those for years. The downside to these is they're harder so when a fish bites down on it he's less likely to hang on to your bait whereas the styrofoam ball compresses and it feels more natural. In higher muddier water when you need a little extra flash, a little extra vibration, you can run a spinning glow. Same deal, just slide that baby down the leader doesn't hurt to put a bead between the hook eye and the spinning glow just as a bearing. And that guy spins in the current, adds a little flash, a little color, and a little vibration. And either one of those ways work just fine. So there you have it, the basic technique for baiting up with Roe.